The Chemical Dependency Counseling Program and the Substance Abuse Certificate Program are two of the only academic programs in City University of New York that provide students with academic credit in addition to preparing them for a state credential. Kingsborough is one of the very few programs in the country to actually give an associates in chemical dependency counseling. Both of the programs lead to a KSAC training certificate that is awarded by New York State when they've completed our curriculum. KSAC is a credentialed alcoholism and substance abuse counselor. And those that go beyond the KSAC trainee certificate, which is what they get for education, and actually begin to work in the field, accumulate a certain number of hours in the field, they take an international test, and then they become KSACs, which is, without the T, Credentialed Alcoholism and Substance Abuse Counselor. Those individuals in New York State are able to do the same work that master uh, social workers are able to do, that mental health counselors are able to do in substance abuse programs. Each and every one of us come from the field. So when we come to the classroom, the skills we are bringing to the classroom are actually the real world skills. What I learned here at the school, as far as um, the substance abuse courses, um, is how to interact with clients the proper way is understanding that ethical dilemma. An incoming student would start at the introductory course, SAC 20. This course focuses on the nature and an understanding of addiction, you know, talking about what it is, what it's not. It talks a lot about pharmacology. It talks a lot about the impact of addiction. And it tries to begin to help students think critically about how could we deal with this issue in our society. It really like opened my eyes to why well, not why, but how drugs affect the brain and why people do get addicted and certain, you know, levels of addiction. Then they move on into SAC 22, which focuses on individual counseling skills. They move on into 24, which is group counseling skills. Then we move into SAC 26, which talks about ethics, confidentiality, the legal requirements that counselors are bound by. Then we move into SAC 28, which focuses on the history and philosophy and approaches to treatment from 1750 until the present. There are many other occupations and professions that benefit from having this kind of training and getting this kind of certification. What I want to do is I want to go back to high to the high school, wherever you know, wherever I can be, and really just apply those techniques that I learned from the program here and apply them into the high school and really just help students. People who are not just professionals in the field, such as teachers nurses, doctors, other counselors, social workers, but also people who have come back to school who are interested in doing something different with their lives. Uh, the job opportunities for them and the opportunity to really help people is tremendous. We're considered one of the top 10 professions by the Department of Labor uh, in this country. So we really feel that we're offering people opportunities in terms of workforce issues as well as in terms of helping others.